How slow the darkness comes once daylight's gone. A slowness natural after English day. So unimpassioned. Tardy to move on. No southern violence that burns away ardent to live and eager to be done. The twilight lingers. Etching tree on sky. The gaps a portal on the ridge's crest. The partridge coveys call beyond the rye. Still, some red bar of sunset cracks the west. The orange harvest moon, like a dull sun, rolls silent up the east above the hill. Earth, like a sleeper, breathes, and all is still. This hour of after day, the dying day's bequest, this autumn dusk, when neither day nor night urges a man to strive or sleep, he stands, filled with the calm of that familiar place. Idle the shaft beneath his folded hands, he who must work the lowlands of his farm, making tenacity his only creed, taking of death and birth his daily need, viewing mortality without alarm. But brief, but short this hour of quietude, gives pause to labour but a breathing space granted, before necessity renewed twists up the sinews of his fortitude. For now, the year draws on towards its ending. Squirrel has hoarded all his nuts, and man, laying for yet another spring his plan, counts over what he has for winter spending. Granaries full with heaped and dusty store, apples on attic floor throughout the house their brackish smell are sending. The steepled ricks with frost are hoar in silent yard. The harvest's at its sleeping. That slumber now, which once was heyday reaping. Now, retrospect and prospect have their share, for autumn, like the Janus of the year, holds spring to spring in double-handed keeping. That sleeps which once was life, but in the womb newly conceived as corn within the ear, another sowing ripens to its bloom. Further you may not know, but only this, Nature's an enemy, who calls no armistice. Mistrust the seeming truce that in the pyre of distant woods and in the garden's fire, in pheasants running bronze on furrowed mould, burnishes autumn with a coat of gold. Therefore, towards the stubble turn your plough, cut gashes new across the healing earth, spare not your servant, since to man austere no respite comes. But bend beneath your vow, reluctant fields, and bring new life to birth.